Now we all know it's important to eat healthy these days, but we don't always do it. Now, whether you feel like you're too busy and don't have the time, or if you're just a little veggie shy, today we've got some pro tips for getting more of the good stuff into your diet. And here to help us with some fresh and delicious farm to table recipes from Beverly Hills Farms, please welcome Jacqueline King. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for being here. I, I promised Christine and Michelle they could come out for this. Oh, sure. So yeah. I have to welcome them Hello. back to the stage here. I'm starving. <laughs> the gang's all I like here. I to feed people. Good. Now, I, I, like to, I like to get my vegetables by drinking them. Yeah. And I understand you have a very unique way to make that happen. This morning. Yes, so I'm very excited. Absolutely. So maybe you like green juice. So this I do is like green juice. A mm -hmm. green juice cocktail. Actually, Ooh. I call this the balancing act. Ooh. So it has a little bit of like a balancing detox, re retox thing yeah. going on. So it has two ounces of gin. Okay. And then two okay. ounces of juice. But the juice is kale, lemon, and green apple. Christine oh. likes this. It's, oh. it's yeah. very Snoop Dogg. A little gin and juice. It, it is a little. <laughs> I like new gin and juice. Sipping on gin. So then yeah. I, gin and green I just juice. put a little, like half a teaspoon of maple syrup. Okay. New York oh. maple syrup here. Ooh. And All then right. a little bit of sparkling water. All right. What does so the maple is, syrup do? Just sweetens it up a little. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stir these bad boys over here. There you go. All right. Yeah, nothing like pass them down, pass them down. Let's okay. all get healthy. So tell me yeah. what you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing like getting healthy and feeling Ooh, healthy at the same yeah. time. Cheers. Yeah. Hello. I'm going to start dancing. Mm. Hi. Music. Cheers, yeah. So this is like my new favorite drink That for is delicious. Mm. Mm. Now, it's Jacqueline, refreshing. I understand we're going to work on a little beet quesadilla here. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, beet quesadilla. Not yeah. beef quesadilla. Beet quesadilla. It might sound a little bit strange, but it's actually really delicious. So we have an onion and some beet greens cooking here. Okay. And we're going to add the cooked beets now. Now, the beet mm. greens is just like what was on the top of the beets. It's basically. on the top. So okay. basically like how this is the carrots. If there was the top of the beet, it uh -huh. would be yeah, that. So don't waste any of it. You use the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that's the great thing about getting, cool. you know, whole I vegetables. You can use the whole thing. Like, I can eat this? You, you can, can eat, eat that. that. You can actually juice it. Put it in your juices. You with can your gin. It. Yeah, exactly. With put, your put gin. Put it in with your there gin, you Michelle. Why not? Okay, so how did you make those beets before you put them in the pan? You can just stick them in the oven at 400 degrees, just whole. Just chop the tops off, Ooh, put nice. them in the oven. Oh, they okay. take about 45 minutes to an hour, and then that's it. So to this, we're adding some balsamic vinegar. Yes, nice, morning. okay. Yes. And a little teaspoon of hot sauce. Yes. Always nice. More hot sauce. And some honey. <laughs> Yum. What yeah. was the last one there? So I didn't catch it. It's honey. Honey. So, oh, honey. so this okay. is kind of like a Mexican sweet and sour, an agridulce. Very cool. Ooh, oh, spicy. A, what? a Mexican sweet and was, sour. She said something in Spanish. Agridulce. Yeah, like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Get it. Now, Jacqueline, now you're just showing off. <laughs> okay, so. Now you're just showing off. This is cumin. So again, gives yeah, it a little bit of that. That's the bouncing act talking. There's so many exact flavors. Very nice. A little salt and pepper. That's yeah. very right. beautiful as well. I have salt to and pepper's here. There you go. <laughs> so that's done. So now we just put it in to a tortilla, melt some cheese, a little cilantro. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cilantro. Get in there. there you go. Get in there, ladies. Get in there. 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 I think that was code for delicious. All right, so what do we have working with the uh, pasta dish here? Okay, so the next thing oh, is, yeah, it's a carrot and carrot mm. top pasta. So you can mm. see, like you were asking about the beet greens. So these are mm. just the tops of the carrots. Yeah. Ah. This part's in the ground, okay. right? And this part, yeah, we chop up and use in the pasta. Can I ask you so, a quick question? When I go to the farmer's market, I am overwhelmed by the vegetables. Do you have a tip? <laughs> Just grab whatever looks really fresh, whatever <laughs> draws your attention. But also, you can always ask the farmers there. You can just say, like, hey, what's looking good today? And obviously, they what's know the their crops. What's the good, so. like, touch test? Like, do you look for firmness? Do you, is I it, think you want things to show. How do you know it's right? Yeah, we talking about that? What are we talking about? <laughs> help if I do like that. It depends on the thing. You just don't want anything that looks, like, really wilted or right. sad, you know, or, like, No too, sad vegetables. Yeah, yeah. no sad like vegetables. How can a vegetable you, yeah, yeah no one. sad vegetables, people. Yeah, you want to be, you know, perky and alive, right? When, do Now, do like farm-to-table vegetables, do those have like a, a, a longer shelf life than 
Vegetables yeah, they actually fine? do. They'll keep in the fridge for up to a week longer because they're so fresh. Yeah, they're not travel. I don't know about mm. you, but when I travel across the country mm -hmm. for a couple of days, like I'm pretty exhausted. And, right. Yeah, a little worse for wear. Hey, so Jacqueline, the uh, same thing happens same to your vegetables. Don't want to interrupt, right? but what's going on with the pizza down here? I got to. Yeah. We got to oh, get to the pizza. Let's finish. Yeah, let's I'm gonna put this pesto on here so you oh, guys sorry, can try this. Wanna... Okay. So this oh, is a little walnut pesto on top. We're gonna put some sprouted walnuts. Crunch those on. What are you Get guys gonna there. eat? And then <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how it is, Michelle. A little goat cheese. There you go. Oh, yum. Yeah. All right, well, Michelle enjoys that. We uh, we have to take a quick break. Thanks to Jacqueline for being here. You can get these recipes on our Facebook page right now. And you can get more healthy recipes from Jacqueline at BeverlyHillsFarms.com. Up next, we've got a live performance by Bernhoff. Keep it right here. <laughs>